Okay, so today we are going to create a Google Cloud Platform project uh, with a basic uh, compute engine instance that is a virtual machine uh, on cloud platform <coughs> using Terraform that is infrastructure as code uh, model and uh, as you can see right now I have a blank project and I have a couple of you know demo project created a uh, few of them are deleted but these are the active project that you can see so I mean you can also see, uh, see that there are a couple of project but Terraform project is not anymore here so what I will do I will go to my Terraform file so I already have a Terraform file having three basic variables a uh, project ID to be created uh, with the project ID that is a unique ID project name that would be reflecting the name of the project and billing account ID so billing account ID is a account ID that needs to be uh, configured with the project so that uh, whatever the resource you will be creating that can be built against it so these are the three basic things you need to create a project so that you can deploy the resources over there and here is the thing what we are doing is we are creating a resource named google i mean we are using the provider google uh, underscore pro project and the name is my project and the variables the name uh, the properties are you know getting from the variable project name project id and the billing id right and the similar way we have a project uh, service underscore service um, uh, provider so what essentially it is doing is it is enabling one of the api that is needed to be you know to create a compute instance on the project so we are enabling compute api google api that's a, a mandatory thing you need to do before doing anything related to creating a compute instance and that is valid for any type of instance uh, if you are kind of if it is not a default instance that you are getting with the project enabled then you need to enable it explicitly before creating the uh, instance or, or the resource and the other the last resource that we are creating is uh, compute instance and few of the basic things that we are defining uh, pretty much basic uh, it doesn't have any any complex stuff as long as uh, you know terraform i mean basic terraform uh, file only and we have the variable file uh, where we are mentioning the account id and billing account id uh, project id and project name so pretty much this uh, let's see how it looks like so before you you know <coughs> you run your uh, terraform you first have to you know have g cloud shell on your computer so you need to install this on your computer so that you can log into Google Cloud, uh, you know, account uh, before kind of uh, hitting the API to create your resources. So let me see. I already have my logged login, so it is already showing. Uh, let's uh, try to do some Terraform stuff. Terraform plan, and we have a variable file, so we will give it. The variable file name and uh, let's see how it looks like so it should give us what are the things it is going to create using all these values that I ha that we have provided using the terraform file and uh, must be trying to calculate all the information and here you go so you have three things to add zero things to change and zero to destroy so it looks like uh, a, the template is pretty much okay to deploy. So let's try to deploy it and see how it works. So instead of plan, as you know, I will do apply. So I'm not saving any Terraform state file or anything. You know, it is just for the demo demo sake. But yeah, I mean, it is for the beginner thing, uh, just to get started. Uh, okay. So I have applied and uh, it will first try to create the project uh, with the billing account id and the name that we have provided and then it will try to create the uh, enable the api uh, okay right now it will ask for the prompt so let's enter yes and now it is trying to create the project as you can see 
So first of all, it needs to be it needs to create the project so that it can enable the API. And we are kind of using self-link dependency over here. So unless this gets created, this will not execute because it is referencing the this this object. So this is the one of the way of handling the dependency in Terraform. And once the project service is created, then only the compute instance thing will start because here again we don't have the explicit but we have the uh, we don't have the implicit dependency but we have the explicit dependency over here that we are telling that un unless this is finished do not continue so it will wait for the api process to complete and once api process is complete like api enable Im enabling api is done then it will go ahead and create the instance in the meanwhile let's try to go back to our uh, platform Google Cloud Platform and let's see what is the project we have so now as you can see we have a Terraform demo delete that is the you know ID that I have given that is the name that I have given as you can see here the ID and the name so we will just go back and we will try to see what's there so okay in the, in the resources field, we don't have anything. So we will wait until something pops out here. So let's see, yeah, still going on. So it will take a couple of time, a couple of, uh, you know, seconds to, uh, you know, do all this stuff behind the scene. Let's go back and, uh, so it is a F1 micro instance. This is one of the shared instance that uh, Google platform provides free uh, you know uh, it has uh, some limitations but for testing purpose this is one of the very uh, you know nice example of machine type that you can pick it is it is having very less resources but then it is free so you don't have to really worry about your credits um, in your account definitely it, it may vary based on the complex scenario where you know uh, if you are involving some other resources that cost something then definitely only the machine type will not give you a few free infrastructure but uh, yes um, I mean just for the compute purpose this is a very good uh, you know option to pick while you're just demoing or or testing um, so yeah uh, project API is done now it is creating compute instance oh it is done so let's check the and let's refresh this page should be able to show us yeah so you can see that we have the compute instance and if you go there uh, you can kind of see there is an actual machine you can see that there is an actual machine and uh, okay and you can actually SSH through this machine you can do whatever you want to do it is actual VM having all the resources that comes up with that particular machine type so yeah I mean this is pretty much a demo uh, I was just trying to kind of uh, uh, you know do the okay as you can see login so I was just try I'm just trying to do some infrastructure as code practices on this uh, Google Cloud Platform um, Terraform is one of the option that I thought would be good because it is a multi-cloud option that you have and uh, while setting up I did a couple of things on my machine that I am you know I am going to write on a blog about it that what are the things you need to have on your computer like G Cloud console uh, how to log in how to set up your local environment and then I'm also looking into the options where I can kind of do some CI CD stuff on this uh, Terraform template so that it can be deployed using some CI CD solutions like Cloud Build or Azure DevOps or things like that. So this is for the this is this is it for the time being. So I will just close this and uh, what I will do I will go there and uh, instead of destroying from here you can destroy from here as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, instead of fly, I will destroy this resource because I just don't want to, you know, get built for something that I don't know. 
so i will just hit a terraform destroyer this is pretty much basic to terra terraform nothing to nothing to do with the google cloud platform this is pretty much same for any kind of cloud platform or any kind of terraform script that you write uh, it will do the same thing so terraform destroyer will delete the same that we have created so it is going to delete the project it is you know kind of delete the instance and everything will be removed uh, whatever it was created using this uh, template so this is it uh, let's wait for some time it will quickly delete this yeah so it is asking for the confirmation i will say yes and it will destroy everything so you know uh, this is one of the important point to remember that whenever you are doing something in public cloud and if you are testing and if you are using your personal account uh, do remember to delete things because establish okay uh, actually looks like my internet went down yeah so i my internet just went down so i'm just i just reconnected and we'll run the same command again just to make sure things got deleted if at all something left uh, i'm sure it will have done last time but due to in you know internet disconnectivity it just few error so So this is it. Uh, I, uh, soon I will write some blog to do, you know, some, some, uh, some of the you know basic things with Google Cloud. Uh, uh, you know, uh, doing some infrastructure as code, automating on top of it, and doing some immutable infrastructure, IaaS or PaaS or or containers like Kubernetes cluster, deploying Kubernetes gke instances and then doing application deployment over there so all these things are things to you know cover in next few months so this is it uh, thank you so much for your time